want to make a quick video of the uh, new Manatex cab. I'm going to focus on basically the interior and the cab um, in this video. When we purchased this crane, there was just nothing online that gave much information about it. So I figured I'd try to help somebody out and put this on there. Um, on the back, you'll see that is the air conditioner. Um, works really well. The uh, back window pops open. Uh, get a little more ventilation. That's kind of nice. Um, you can see right now the door is shut. The um, side windows slide open. The one on the right side, which would be the passenger side, has a mesh screen in front of it and um, makes the window almost impossible to clean. But, you know, it's a safety issue, so I get it. Um, to get into the truck, uh, it's got a... That step does not move. It's uh, just fixed right there. And then the ladder comes down. So climb up the ladder and uh, it's got handholds inside the cab to get in. I'm going to step over to the other side and I'll show you the front. Let's show what it looks like from the front. Okay, looking at it from the front, you'll notice the uh, windshield is huge. Unfortunately, it's fixed. It would be nice if it popped open, but um, it is fixed. But this truck has a ton of visibility. Um, they come, I believe they're all, they all come stock with these load lights, LED lights. Very bright. Um, they work really well. The windshield wiper works really well as well. Um, and it's got one on the top. So we go over here to the side. See that little blue tank? That little blue tank is for the heater. It's got a diesel-fired heater. Um, and we'll see that when we get inside. But uh, that's kind of what it looks like from the front so to get this view I'm standing on the truck next to it and um, just kind of looking there's another view of the cab and here's the inside I'm going to pause it and then I'll actually take you inside the cab of all the cranes that I've run this one is probably the hardest or the most sketchy is to get in and out of depending on where the house is um, you know if it stopped directly over the back or in certain positions over the side it's a little tricky to get in and out of um, I don't know what they what else they could have done about that but it is a little tricky so I'm like I said I'm on the truck next to it and I'm just gonna step over hopefully we'll make it inside safely so um, when we start this is uh, on the left-hand side, or on the right-hand side, this is the winch and uh, boom lever. There is a drum rotation indicator in there. It's a thumper. It's loud and it's very precise. Well, it's not super loud, but it, it's very precise. Works really well. They did a great job on the seat. Um, it's very comfortable, and it, it reclines almost to a flat position. The seat cushion slides out and also slides up and down, and the whole seat obviously moves. The armrest will adjust. The whole armrest will lift up and down to kind of to fit your size. And then it also has an adjustment underneath that uh, changes the angle. Uh, and as we go over here in the back, here's where the uh, computers are. There's one. There's another one. And then this one right over here on this side. Um, the back window, this, this lever actually pops up, opens up the back window, and it's hinged. Um, over here, uh, we're on the right-hand side. Um, it's got an interior light, and then these are all the switches that the focus. Um, for the windshield wipers and the washers and the load light, um, this is the switch for the fan. When you turn the fan on, it also has uh, two more speed controls right there on the front of the fan. Um, this one is for the blower motor on the air conditioner, three speeds, and then this one turns the compressor on and off. And um, the compressor runs off the swing motor, the hydraulics for the swing motor. We did get the uh, stereo. Um, it's it's okay. Scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give it a solid, I don't know, maybe what, 3. Um, try to turn it up here. And it also has, it has Bluetooth connectivity. And then the socket right over here is a charging port, but it also plugs into the stereo so you can listen, you know, through your phone or just hook it up, you know, wirelessly. 
however you want to do that. Um, swing around here, and here's the upper um, hatch, the the glass. You just move these locks, it opens up, and then you just push the whole thing up, and it's on. Um, it's on two gas um, rams there that hold it up. It's got a screen, you know, a sunshade, which comes in pretty handy out here. Again, this is looking out the front windshield. It's just got a ton of visibility. Over here to the front, um, this is the heater. Over on the, the, the vents on the left and right are the heater vents. Um, that plug in the middle is for the washer fluid, windshield washer fluid. Over here on the lower right is the heater control. It's got a diesel fired heater, like I said. It works very well. You don't get a lot of fumes. Um, it's thermostatically controlled. And then on the left of that control is a uh, just a 12 volt power outlet. We tapped into that power outlet to keep the, uh, the radios charged. Um, over here on the right, obviously that's the swing control and the scope control. And then this AccuSwing is so you can change the rate um, that the crane swings. Pretty handy, haven't really messed with it that much. It doesn't seem to have a whole lot of adjustment, but um, if I was going to complain about one thing, it would be the way to the swing on the crane. Um, you'll notice that it, you know, down here's the throttle we did not get the free swing um, or it would have another pedal in there to uh, assist with that i don't want to go into the computer a whole lot i'm going to close this i'm going to pause this and close the uh, hatch to try to kill some glare okay so i put the cover on the front windshield which they all come with definitely nice if you're going to leave it you will put it on when it's sitting over the weekend try to kill the glare on the computer Every time you start the truck or initialize, or initialize the uh, computer, um, you tell it what outriggers it's on. I'll try to get that to focus. Full span, mid span, uh, straight down. So I'm going to put it back on full span and hit OK with this button right here. Hit OK. Tell it that we have one part of line. Accept that and then the computer will start. Um, I'm not going to go into the computer a lot, but it does have some really cool functions. Um, up here on the top, if you go to info, it'll tell you about the crane. And then if you pick the engine, it gives you just a ton of diagnostic stuff about the uh, truck's engine. Um, this one tells you about, it'll check all the CAN sensors. For the crane, um, digital inputs, and digital outputs. Pretty cool. We haven't had any issues, so we haven't really had to mess with that much. And then um, just another page. So we'll get out of that. And this is the main screen. Um, over here, this one, this, this button allows you to see the instruments of the, you know, the truck instruments while you're running the crane. Um, and then you can either hit this back button or this, um, this one right here. Either one will take you back to the home screen. Uh, this one gives you the level. Uh, when, when you're within level, the ball turns green. Um, and, you know, that was another thing that was hard. To, you can set this crane up from upstairs if you have a remote. We have a remote for the winch, and we have a remote for the outriggers. Um, if you don't, you have to set it up from the back, um, and which is kind of a pain in the butt. But uh, we opted for the uh, remote. Um, let's go back. This one will take you back, too. Uh, this is a camera that's mounted on the back. Um, and then this, this one will take you, this one will take you back. Um, this one sets the limits for the swing and the boom up, boom down. And then this one, if you watch the ball, I'm going to hit the tear and the tear will zero that out. There you go. So sorry about, sorry about all the glare. Um, down here, 
Um, every time you get out of the seat, when your butt leaves the seat, the com the computer or the uh, the, com the hydraulics shut off. This turns them on. This turns the outriggers on, so you can run it from the upper, or or the or the lower with a remote. You can run it from anywhere. This is for the uh, radio remotes. This one um, uh, tilts the cab up, tilts the cab down, start and stop. This turns on a remote throttle, which is pretty cool. I'll fire it up and, and um, explain that. Um, this one, if you get into a lockout situation, this will override it. If you push this, you can see the override, but the computer has to be on for that to work. Down here is uh, the winch speeds and the winch lockout, and then obviously, obviously the swing horn. Um, so I'm going to fire this thing up. And uh, so the engine starts. I'm going to go ahead and turn the hydraulics on. When those are on, that will allow the cab to tilt. As you can see, tilting up. I think it goes up about 20, 30 degrees. It lays way back. Um, this is what I was telling you about with the throttle. Over here, you pick which throttle position you want. And then when you turn this on, when you hit this button, it brings the idle up, and then you can control the idle anywhere you want it. Wherever you have that set, it will it will go back to that every time. And then obviously the throttle. Um, here's what the rotation indicator sounds like. That was like two block it. So if you two block it, okay, so now we're two blocked. That's when you'd use this. This will allow you to bypass that. I'm gonna go ahead. But when you push when you push this button, this allows you to bypass those and you can get out of a situation. And um, so again, here's the outriggers. I'm gonna turn the outriggers on from up here. And we'll go back to the ball, and so I am going to, I'm going to retract this one. And you can see, as the ball moves out of there, if it, if it doesn't like how level it is, the ball will actually turn white. So, there's that. I'm going to pause this for just a second. So I leveled it back up. And I went, I'll go back to the home screen. That's what you'll see pretty much when you're running the crane. Um, this down here, this is the remote for the winch. And as I said before, this is the remote for the outriggers. I don't think, I, I know the outriggers don't cost a lot extra. The winch was like 2800 3000 something like that extra to get that. But boy, it aids in setting the truck up, and I think it was worth every penny of it. I'm going to go ahead and shut it off. And then, like I said, every time you get out of the seat, um, like if you get out of the seat, it will not start uh, until you sit back down in the seat and then you have to restart it and turn the hydraulics on. So I'll take you outside and I'll show you where the remote or the uh, receiver is for the winch, uh, for the winch remote. So now we're on the right hand side of the crane, the uh, passenger side of the crane. It's got a pretty robust um, oil cooler. Um, right here is the uh, the receiver for the um, the remote on the winch. Uh, around here's the back. Uh, that little, that's the camera that I was showing you. And um, yes, yeah, so I'll explain just a little bit more about the outriggers, and then we're done. Again, sorry about these choppy uh, start and stops, but no editing. Um, back here. These are the uh, outrigger controls that it comes with stock. So if you don't have the remotes, um, this is where you're going to be setting the truck up from. Honestly, I don't know why anybody wouldn't buy the remotes. But I'll show you how you turn that on from, uh, from down below. Okay, so I've got the truck running now. Uh, when you're setting the truck up, when you're setting it up or breaking it down from downstairs, this is the uh, box that you turn on. And then... That's when you uh, switch over here to the remotes. 
I turn this remote on. See it flashing. Actually, turn the remote on. And then that's how you control that. And then this remote has to be on. This one has to be on to, uh, to use the winch. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And then now we're at the front of the truck, so I'm going to use the remote to put the winch up. So that is amazing what that does as far as uh, setting up and breaking down the truck. Saves one more trip to the cab. So um, anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, if somebody's thinking about uh, getting one, this is kind of what it looks like. And um, they are very nice. Huge cab, very roomy, tons of leg room. Um, overall, really nice job. Good job, Manatex. Oh, one more comment. I'm going to shut this off and I'll give you one more comment, Manatex, if you're listening. So if I could offer any advice to Manatex, if I could sit down with their engineers and um, give them two pieces of advice. One, I would say work on the swing on this crane. Um, you guys left a little bit, a little bit on the table. Um, it's not as smooth as it could be, and it tends to uh, walk back and forth a little bit when you stop. Um, I don't know if that's an adjustment on just this crane. This is our first Manatex. Um, we have uh, Terex cranes, um, so it's our first Manatex experience. Um, and the second thing is joysticks are not available on this crane from what I've been told. When you get into the 40 and 50 ton, the TC series, they offer joysticks. Um, come on, Manatex, we want joysticks too. So work on your swing a little bit. That's the only that's the only complaint I have. And the next one we buy, I really hope joysticks are available in uh, the 40, either 124 or the 4100. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope that cleared up any questions anybody had uh, about the cab. Um, thanks for watching. Oh, and uh, last but not least, um, I want to give you a view of what it looks like with the cab tilted all the way up. I'm going to jump over to the other truck. I'll let you know what it looks like from the front. Cycle times on that are probably 15 to 20 seconds, and I'll show you what it looks like from the front. So this gives you an idea of uh, how much the cab tilts up. And then, you know, obviously underneath there's the ram that tilts it. So, one of my favorite features of this crane is the cab that tilts. All right, now I'll let you go. Thanks for watching.